Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about five coins to look at into 2020. These are small coins, probably doesn't get too much press um, lately. Maybe one or two of them gotten some press because like people have shilled them. But five coins I think you should actually be looking at in 2020, small cap coins with a lot of potential. First is Casino Coin. Now I've actually done a video about Casino Coin. Um, Casino Coin actually does have partnership with, with like online um, casino companies and it also has a partnership and it's um, kind of developed kind of like COVID developed by, by one of the largest roulette makers in the world. So that's something casino coin actually has going. It's only, you know, $19 million market cap right now. And I think it can rise a lot higher. We know the casino business is worth far more than that. If you can score some of the big casino houses, or even some of the big online casinos and basically use CSC as an integrated coin for all those casinos for payments, um, not only for payments, but withdrawal um, deposit, and betting, I think CSC can rise very, very high. This total supply is only 40 billion coins, so I do think it can actually rise to double digit cents in terms of value. Even if it only rises to single digit cents, that's still a 100x profit, and I think it has a decent chance of rising to that. And plus, one of the things I look at is, it's only seven Satoshi right now, so throwing $100 at it right now might give you 200,000 coins, and I think that's a worthy enough risk because you can actually make a decent amount of money back with you know, more than 200,000 coins on Casino Coin if it is actually successful. So CSC is definitely a coin I could look at. I, I would look at, I think I can see it in the hundreds of millions, possibly billions market cap, and that is uh, if it's successful. Obviously for all these small coins, the caveat is if it's successful. I'm just thinking about a couple of them that actually do have some deals and could actually be successful to a much larger scale than they are now. So Casino Coin is definitely one of them, CSC. So take a look at that. InSolar is the second one, and InSolar actually has collaboration has had a collaboration with Microsoft, Oracle, and Inosus. Now that doesn't quite mean they have a partnership with any of these companies, but they have done like technical collaborations. Maybe Microsoft Azure can deploy them. Same with Oracle and Inosus. So they have connections with these companies, and that could actually bring it more customers as well. Plus. You can't deny that they actually have a um, partnership with Coin Telegraph lately. It was one of the two blockchains, the other being VeChain, that Coin Telegraph actually partnered with to consult and recommend their blockchain solutions to their clients. And Coin Telegraph is fairly well known. So InSolar definitely something to look at. Um, very low, five point six million dollars in market cap right now, and uh, definitely something you actually want to look at. The next one is actually a DeFi project. is a little different because it's not really. Um, something you can find on CMC. Maybe I'm wrong. Last time I wasn't able to find it. Maybe I just like missed something, but um, it's called Synthetex. And what it is, it's a DeFi operation that actually deals with derivatives. It's a DeFi thing that, I, no, okay. So SNX is actually on here. So it's a DeFi operation that deals with derivatives. This one's not quite as small. The market cap's already $185,000, but it's kind of a staking token as well. So you can actually, uh, you know, like collateralize since and receive trades from the Synthetex exchange. And the cool, cool thing is um, they're basically tokenizing all sorts of stuff. It's not only cryptos, but it's also fiat stable coins and it's also commodities. And they're actually coming and coming soon. They're going to have stocks. So regulations aside, I do believe that this project can get super large in the in the future if everything goes right. It does, I mean, like it is built on Ethereum. So Ethereum will have to actually like up its scaling ability unless Synthetex actually goes onto its own mainnet, which it actually might. So it's built to trade all crypto commodities and Forex on the Synthetex exchange. And it is pro is one of the biggest DeFi projects. And I do believe it has a very, very bright future uh, for Synthetex because the market it can actually target is very is pretty huge and you can make money staking it, which means people have more incentive to hold the coins. So Synthetex is one that you should look at as well. The fourth one I've talked about before is Phantom. Uh, Phantom did sign like uh, a deal with like the medical industry in Afghanistan. Like I said, I don't actually know how big that industry is. Afghanistan medical industry can't really think it's that big, but it is very nice for a small coin. They've also signed like some kind of partnership with one of the princes of Dubai. So they they're actually making their international rounds and they're starting signing like partnerships here and there. So Phantom is definitely one to actually look out for. Um, definitely one you want to look out for maybe invest a little bit of money at. The fifth one is Matic. Now, I don't actually believe in Matic all that much in the long term, but it, this is one of those that I think is great for swing trading. We've seen the massive pumps and dumps of Matic. So what I'm thinking is when it dumps, it usually dumps to maybe like 
under 1.5 cents. So maybe set a buy at like 1.4 cents because I'm pretty sure it's going to pump again sometime. And when it pumps again, it's probably gonna to pump to three or four cents and you can actually sell out at that rate. Yes, it is a risk that it never pumps again, but it's a Binance IEO. And those things tend to pump every once in a while. So even though I don't really believe it in the long term, I could pick some up at below 1.5 cents and maybe double my money within a few months. So that's what I would actually look at Matic. So those are the five coins heading into 2020 that I would actually look at. Casino Coin, Insolar, Synthetex, Phantom, and Matic. These, these are all small cap coins. Um, the, big, the large caps we talk about all the time, but these small caps we don't talk about a lot. So that is why uh, this video is just to introduce you to some of these maybe diamonds in the rough. Now, all of these, like I said, w uh, like I said, is a, are a pretty big risk to invest in right now, but the rewards might definitely be worth it for some of these smaller coins. Allocate a small port portfolio to these smaller coins. Not a lot, but these can pay off handsomely if they are successful. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.